Hello everyone and welcome to the end part of Trials of Coldstream FC Part 5. Why am I here? Rather than studying at the beginning, well I'm going to do a full run after this, but this was basically my initial run on this song. I played it a tad late in my session, so I was beat to all poop. As you'll see, my body basically cave out at <laughs> during this final bit of stream here. Like, I'm looking looking pretty strong here, for the most part, other than, well, the graph, which was kind of struggling all throughout as well, but I mean, it's like, yeah, at that point, I was kind of holding my own, but then I'm, I'm starting to drop, and I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, no, I, I must push harder, I must pull this off, I'm so close to the end, I cannot give up on this, just keep going. Even if it takes every ounce of energy out of my body, but alas, alas, I was just too tired and couldn't quite finish it. And this ending is epic too, it's like the, the musical composition really gets you going and everything like that, but it didn't get me going enough, I guess, to, ke <laughs> to keep me from keeling over, well not quite keeling over, but you, you know what I mean, just not being able to finish the, the song here. Uh, no! Oh my god. I just ran out. I'm close. And so, we're back at it again. <laughs> the very next day. I was thinking about uploading the other part in full, but I was like, nah, it's too similar to this one. Just thought, I'll figure it out, I'll show the ending. Let's see what I've got. <laughs> I said, I'll see what I got. Oh, let's see what I've got, excuse me. And... So it begins. So as you see with Trials of Cold Stream FC Part 5 here, there are quite a few breaks throughout this. In that there are... Like, it's, it's a long song, but it's... It's got a decent pace to it, so you can handle it relatively well if you're playing at 190 fairly comfortably. But, you know, who can play 190 completely comfortably? <laughs> That's the idea of stamina, after all. It's a lot of streaming, a lot of pushing, a lot of hard work. And... Relax. Little break. Okay, it's actually more than a little bit of a break here. It's a whole bunch of measures going on here. I mean, there's a couple of tiny little spikes in there, but it's not really fast or anything like that, so you can just kind of slide your feet along gently, and then we start getting back into the speed here, these little horse gallop sounding areas here, and it goes into full-on steaming for another 28 measures. But, oh, that little, that little break that you see in the graph at the bottom right there, that's not much of a break. And it may as well not be there, so it's more than 28 measures. So, whenever you see, like, those little dips in graphs like that, like, really tiny dips, you can pretty much guess that the number that you're seeing of how many measures you're dealing with is not really how much you're actually gonna feel. <laughs> like, watch. And that was the only break. That was not really a break. I mean, I, I guess maybe to catch your rhythm if you were getting off track, you have that little little bit of uh, an opening, but there were arrows there. And <laughs> yeah, we're back to 32. <laughs> if anything, I'd say like little breaks sometimes mess with your timing because you're like you're getting used to a certain rhythm and speed and then it just like it, it kind of zips off to a different rhythm for a short period of time and it gets back to the rhythm as it was before but the longer breaks however like this they are more welcoming <laughs> oh, it's much much better for a couple that's what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm like okay just use the least amount of energy on these sorts of break times to try and recover as much as possible because you know it's coming back. And we 
or back to the horse gallops. It's very similar uh, patterns of arrows here compared to that other horse gallop area. You can even tell on the graph. Uh, even with that little bit of a dip down break in the middle there. Well, sort of in the middle. It's in the middle on the left side, but it's more like two thirds through this section here. And again, it's not really much of a break. It just feels like it's more there to throw you off than anything. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, you gotta watch out for those little parts there and be ready to get back into the rhythm that you were into before, like this right here, and do it quickly. And there we go again. <laughs> yep, very, very similar. Only this part is half the speed. I, I kind of dropped some arrows there, just getting complacent there. I'm not mega, mega tired at this point or anything. It's... It's pretty early in the song, obviously, and it's earlier in the session, as you've seen by the time um, starting at the song selection screen. And now you get an actual break. It may be only about eight measures, but it was a break that I welcome. And we're back to it. <laughs> I don't know how I missed an up arrow, and I was like, I don't know, it's like I'm, I'm like when I'm, I know that I'm in the, for the long haul, I tend to under hit arrows. Because I'm trying to conserve as much energy as possible, I guess, and then I just kind of flub my way through some sections. Like, oh no, no, I, I gotta extend a little bit more there with my foot to get to the up arrow or the down arrow or whatever I'm lacking in my reach in trying to conserve energy. And yeah, <laughs> just like I'm constantly adjusting myself, I guess you could say, between trying to conserve as much energy as possible, and actually making it through the song. <laughs> and after this 40 section here, we're gonna dip down just a little bit. We're gonna go into some 12th note streams here. It's still kind on the quick side, you get the slight break, but then we're gonna back to full speed again. Never lasts very long when you have those little dips in between the streamers, so... You've just got to push, and you've got to read, and read well. Yeah, this is a lot about the reading, too. Like, if you're not looking far enough down the note highway here of arrows, you know, like, say, looking below the combo counter, the one that's counting 60, 70, 80, 90, yeah, that below there, you got to be looking pretty far down the lane to be able to read them in time before they reach the upper area, because I, I I mean, I guess it's possible to memorize the whole thing, but I wouldn't count on it <laughs> anytime soon. So, yeah, your reading skill is just as important as stamina in a lot of cases, because you can anticipate the movements as you see the arrows coming and sort of, like, shimmy on your feet a bit ahead of time in a smoother, more relaxed fashion, rather than jutting your feet around, if that helps. But, you know, it's also important to read the arrows in general, just because, you know, you can't hit the arrows unless you can read them as well, so it's like... And yeah, we got a little bit of a slowdown here, a nice happy break, even though there's tiny gallops in there. But yeah, as I was saying, the, the reading is very important to stamina, because the thing of, oh, you've got to just anticipate things for the sake of like keeping your combo up and whatnot because if you're dropping too many arrows like I was when I was tired you seen in the early portion of the video it's, it's gonna be over for you anyway that that dance gauge only fills up so much no matter how well you were doing in the earlier parts you've got to stay pretty steady throughout to keep the dance gauge alive and well i'm getting complacent again that's why the dance gauge is dropping a bit i noticed that and i'm like okay i gotta pick it up and here we are back at full dance gauge yeah, i cannot get complacent here and uh between between the runs that i was doing here um, I was practicing at higher speeds as well, so I could have more control over myself at this and even higher speeds than that. I managed to pass a 208 bpm -er, which I'm pretty proud of since I haven't really been streaming that fast. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, but I, I wasn't recording it at the time, which is unfortunate. I could probably do a repeat performance of that ball since I've been working on my speed and I'm able to handle higher speeds 
than ever before now for... Well, I mean, I could handle high speeds, but only in really short durations, because I, I would kind of... I, like, I'd push too hard, and I'd either burn myself out, and I wouldn't be able to finish, or what I would do is I would lose track of where I am because it's so fast, and I'm not used to that speed. <laughs> it's just the difficulty of high speed, I guess you could say, but... But it's like the more you play higher speeds, the better you get at them. Like before, I was struggling at 190, and look at me now! <laughs> Alright, big break before the big finale here. So indulge in this break as much as you can with the gentlest of footsteps that you can. Just shuffle your feet around with sliding motions, not too much lifting. And we're back to the big finale. Yeah, it says 34, but no, 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 no. It's one of those tiny dip breaks in between. So it's all basically straight through until the end here. And the song is even getting pretty dang epic to come to the end here. I mean, just listen to this thing pick up. Yeah, we're really rocking now. <laughs> so, once I get through this, there is, I guess you could say, that little bit of a break. It's wider than the other breaks that I was talking about that had, you know, that just had those little dealios throughout that. I had stumbled a little bit there, but that's okay. And we'll be able to recover here. See, that was a little bit more of a break, I guess you could say, but it's still, still probably more to throw you off than anything. <laughs> so. So then you've got those 34 and you've got this 75 all combined into one final death run, basically. And this is basically where you see me at the beginning of the video, uh, where I was ending off the video because I failed the song, unfortunately. But as you see, if you pace yourself a little... well, not, I shouldn't say pace yourself a little better. You have to go at the pace that the song gives you, but I mean, if you... If you play the song earlier in your session, after some warm-up time, but not before you're fully tuckered out, as I found here and in other times, you can sometimes get a little further than you did before, and that little bit of little bit further can make the difference, especially if you come really close to the end, like I was in my first run through this. I, like, the first time that I played this, I knew that I could pass it, based on how close I was at the end of there. But I was like, nah, I, this, this run is just... I'm just getting so tired here. But I shouldn't have played it so late in my session. But this time, it's different. We have 10 measures to go, and it's looking good. I'm in pretty decent control of everything, the dance gauge, my pacing. Not even that tired. Look at the percentage. We're good. Yeah! <sighs> Made it this time. <sighs> Holy crap! <sighs> I'm glad I played that early in the session this time. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Yes, I'm aware it was gonna unlock stuff. I just wanted to say, ooh, as for fun.